Okay, what is Chambers of My Heart? What is that? Hey guys, it's your humble host, or Kim if you prefer. So I'm back with another video. Long time no see. Hopefully your guys' Thanksgiving went well. Mine was meh. I had to work. Plus I've been dealing with some other stuff. So I've just been too busy for the holidays and whatnot. Anyway, I have fallen off with a lot of stuff. And every now and then I'll poke my head into stuff that I followed in the past just out of morbid curiosity or just to see if the situation has gotten any better. Well, for those of you who've been around on YouTube, early 2010s, and you've heard of channels like I Hate Everything, Your Movie Sucks, The Odd Ones Out, they all covered a specific user called Cool Cat Funhouse, run by Derek Savage. Now, he's infamous here on YouTube and other parts of the internet just because of the poor quality of his productions, his lack of ability to take criticism, and the overall expression of certain ideas just doesn't pan out, if not are half-baked. And that's going to have a literal sense here in the next few minutes, but we'll get there. Anyway, with that being said, there was a movie that he campaigned for, I want to say, about a year ago, a little under a year and it's Cool Cat Saves the Kids from Dirty Dog and the Coronavirus. Yeah. So, there was talk of how this movie was never going to happen simply because no one saw any evidence of it. There wasn't really any production updates, that sort of thing. Now, one thing I do want to point out here, and I've talked about this on my channel before and even in Community Musings, is I do believe that there is potential with this brand with Cool Cat. Now, granted, I have not made a brand for kids. None of my stuff is geared toward kids, ever. And I even made it a point to kick all the minors out of my Discord, and I never had any minors on my streams just because I wanted to talk about a variety of things without having to censor my stuff, if you will, and accidentally talk about something in front of a child or with a child present that, you know, inappropriate. Anyway, with that being said, I don't have the knowledge to particularly gear stuff towards kids. There's a certain way to say things, present stuff, especially certain subjects, when you are dealing with small people and creating media for them. That being said, there is potential with Cool Cat, but it's being run into the ground. Now, recently, I poked into his channel about one or two nights ago, and... I found some things that I did not know about Cool Cat Funhouse, and it's actually telling and worrying, and just for disclaimer's sake, I am not a doctor, I don't have any legal backgrounds, I don't have any media production backgrounds, I've talked about how my channel has been smashed into the ground and shadow banned and what have you, so this is not me coming at this from a professional experience, this is just from an amateur graphic designer observer of something that has potential, but the potential has been squandered for however many years. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to play the promotion and I'm going to point some things out because some things about this video, it's only 48 seconds, caught my attention and not in a good way. Let me see if you catch them. Hey guys, what's happening? Got some great news here. The Cool Cat vs. Dirty Dog, the Virus Wars feature film will be completed this weekend and it is just so sweet. I'm so happy for it. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. As I stated before, you've never seen nothing like this. Okay, hey, if you want you So, if you guys are kind of paying attention, and I don't know why this is the first thing I caught, and I'm not making fun. This is me coming at this from a concerned point of view because it shows signs of decay, 
regression, poor health. So for anyone who has visited the dentist really or in the last six months or just, you know, remember what your dentist tells you about your health and how it relates to your teeth. Usually when people have health problems, whether they're severe or they're enough to impact your physical appearance, the first thing that's going to make that abundantly clear or obvious is your teeth. Now, again, I'm not making fun, but as far as I remember, because I know Derek Savage has always kind of looked kind of haggard and stressed and worn out, I don't remember his teeth being that bad. It looks like he has a chip tooth, he has two to three obvious cavities, um, that could be tar. Again, I'm not a dentist, no medical profession history. Again, these are just observations. But when I first started to watch the promotion, I instantly took notice of the condition of his teeth. So that's a clear indicator that something's wrong. Um, and then to make matters worse, when you have that sort of condition for your mouth, it's not a good idea to zoom in on your face like that because it makes those problems, those issues more apparent to people and people are going to hone in on that. And as I said, that was the very first thing I honed in on when watching this. Let's continue. Your name in the movie? Go to CoolCatLovesYou.com. I still got a few associate producer um, and executive producer spaces. We just had an executive producer come in last night, so I only got two more sets of props. So if you're interested in those, hey, you got to jump on the bandwagon now. Guys, get ready to rock and roll with this new Cool Cat feature film. Hey, take it easy. Bye-bye now. So, I do apologize because my OBS um, apparently wanted to misbehave, but I was going through and pulling up a site, which is coolcatlovesyou.com. Let me see if my OBS is behaving. It is not. So, anyway, um, this is his website, coolcatlovesyou.com, and the promotions that he's talking about or the campaign he's referring to as you can see it here now usually before a production's made or an animation you can do fundraise before and offer something of value before like for example monkey wrench or lackadaisy lackadaisy a big one i've been following tracy b for quite a few years now and i've gotten a lot of products from her high quality mind you and Usually the standard procedure from everything I've seen is that you campaign first. There's different tiers, there's different rewards, there's just different things you can get depending on how much you give. Now, you have here $25 to get your name in the movie credits. You have $500, which is called Associate Producer. This package includes a cool cat shirt. DVD, Cool Cat, Mini Me Mask, IMDb credit in your name on the associate producer's card at the end credit roll, so all you could see your name in the movie. Okay, so for those of you guys who remember the Cool Cat merch, the mask is a very, very cheap plastic. It's not even a good plastic mask. The shirts are probably made by some third-party t-shirt shop, and I've worked at one of these... If it's not professionally done by Teespring, Teepublic, there's other ones out there. The quality doesn't look good. Granted, I have not bought any of these things just because of how cheap they look. Um, we don't know who makes the t-shirts. And again, I, I'm saying this all from observation from someone who backs other campaigns, Lackadaisy, Monkey Wrench, and have gotten products from these campaigns and continue to follow these creators because of their dedication, their work, their quality for both story and characters and what have you. And I just generally overall enjoy them. Now, here's the one that really concerns me and it doesn't say how many slots there are for these. As you saw in the video, he said that there's maybe two more, one more. Executive producer credit and movie prop 2500. Again, you usually want to campaign before you make anything. Um, this package includes a cool cat shirt, a dirty dog shirt, so you get a second shirt in there. 
the DVD, Cool Cat Mini Me Mask, IMDb credit, your own solo title card in the beginning, and in the end, credit roll, and a Cool Cat movie prop. The movie prop doesn't say what it is. It doesn't show what it is, and for all you know, the movie prop could be a giant piece of crap. And from what we've seen in the past in regards to Cool Cat merch, what he uses, the costumes, at this point, Derek Savage, from what I can observe, just with the voice acting, is Derek is doing a lot of this stuff by himself. The original voice actor for Cool Cat left a while ago. And there was a falling out, and so Derek Savage now does all the voices by himself. Another video that I'm going to show you um, involves a quote-unquote new character for this cool cat, dirty dog movie. Um, I'm sorry for your ears in advance. So, you can already see the major problem. Again, quality has always been an issue with this brand and the way that Derek Savage has gone about producing and making this brand, and he's lost more people along the way. Now, with just the lines, it shrieks of narcissism. And for anyone who's actually watched any of the Cool Cat movies, because I actually have seen Cool Cat Saves the Kids, and that involves a character, Butch the Bully, which is a whole other can of worms and a whole other topic, Cool Cat really doesn't do anything in the film besides shot and point and scare the neighborhood adults. There's actually a scene in uh, Cool Cat Saves the Kids, from Butch the Bully is there's literally a guy in the background and he's coming out and he looks across the street and you can see him in the background in the camera shot and he's looking around and he sees this big orange character of Cool Cat and he literally takes 30 seconds and goes back into his house and it's the most funniest freaking thing because even the adults go nope that's enough outside for me today <laughs> so <laughs> that should tell you quite a lot and there's been other stuff that people have looked into that the house Derek Savage filmed in wasn't really his house. That's just one of many. There's also been branding issues when it comes to Cool Cat. Like, for example, you have to get permission to show certain brands in the film. For example, if Apple wants to shell out or shell out their brand you're gonna have iphone placed everywhere somewhere in the film or the apple logo same thing with coca-cola and mcdonald's you have to get permission to show the brands in your show simply because there could be um problems if people can misinterpret and go oh well these brands back what's in this film because they're being shown and being advertised to me so again that's a whole other that's a another ball of wax and I don't know if any legal issues came about from that um the brands that were clearly shown in I believe Butch the Bully or one of his promotional videos was JVC and he was using it to promote Cool Cat so again I don't know if anything came about that but anyway this particular shot, uh, this movie is going to be a trash fire. And this is not me poking fun because this is low fruit. This is something I kind of poke my uh, head in every now and then just to go, hey, is, is this dead? Is this getting better? What happened with it now? And uh, for those of you who do not notice, there's also like a wannabe gangster chain around Cool Cat's neck now, which was not a thing, which is now suddenly a thing. Um, the lines... Uh, this is the first time this Beaver character has 
appeared in any of the Cool Cat stuff. Um, again, Cool Cat really doesn't do anything from what I've seen. And for those of you who've watched Butch the Bully, uh, Cool Cat saves the kids. Derek Savage does not know how to touch upon the topic of bullying whatsoever. And this has been discussed before, too. Pretty much with Butch the Bully, he's treated like a villain, like an actual villain, instead of a kid who has issues and possible severe problems at home that he doesn't know how to entirely cope with. Like, it, it gets so ridiculous to a point that there is a newspaper of somebody going around stealing candy and Butch the Bully gets arrested by the police for stealing candy from... It's not even the store. There is not even shoplifting involved here. There's also another issue with this brand, and it's bestiality. There's the legit theme of bestiality in this. And Cool Cat, according to the lore, is Derek Savage's biological son. And his mother, which is Derek Savage's wife, is an anthropomorphic cat. It is a big another orange costume decked out in a dress with... Lipstick portrayed on there and big eyelashes. So that is part of the lore. I'm not making that up. So another thing when I kind of poked my head in here and kind of began to dig around, I found something that I was not aware of to begin with. I had no freaking idea that this was a thing. And I'm going to pull up the other page that I have here. I've never heard of the 420 awards. Ever. So the 420 Awards is a apparently awards show that Derek Savage created and really can't get any backing for, I guess, because his trophies actually have the tops of the marijuana plant on these as their icon. And this is a uh, fandom.com. It's one of those fandom pages. And I know, don't take these 100% seriously, but seeing how there's YouTube videos and other people have covered the 420 awards, and not to mention that, that the people that Derek have, has tried to invite it apparently didn't respond. I wouldn't either, because just what the hell. I'm going to read a little bit of this wiki page here. The 420 Awards is a marijuana-themed award show created and hosted by Derek Savage, creator of the Cool Cat brand. So he's associating Cool Cat with drug paraphernalia. Anything advertising marijuana, the marijuana plant, is considered drug paraphernalia. Marijuana is still classified as a drug. So that classification, whether it changes or not, it's still a drug. Marijuana is still a drug. Continuing on. The award show focuses on celebrating the best in movie and music. The show is released annually, although most of the nominees don't correspond with the year award show was released at all. Avengers Endgame, which released in 2019, won the award for favorite kick-ass movie of 2021. Despite Cool Cat being a children's character and we'd obviously not being suitable subject for children, clearly not, it would make sense for Derek not to associate Cool Cat with the 420 awards brand. Derek, of course, has no common sense, and therefore Cool Cat is an annual staple at the show. It's not that he doesn't have any common sense. He's literally effing baked. He is baked. And I'm sorry for those of you who get offended, who consume this plant. Every freaking person I have met that dabbles with weed, smokes it, consumes it on a regular basis always comes across as half-baked, and it irritates the living shit out of me. I have no patience for it, and it's like you can't really have a full logical conversation with the individual because their brain just is not firing off properly. I cannot stand the attitude that comes with smoking weed or marijuana. I'm sorry, I, I don't care for it. I know it has medicinal properties, but that is not why people smoke it. If people really wanted to get the medicinal benefits out of it, we turn it into a pill and get rid of the drug part. Sorry, I said what I said. 
And I've also had to deal with high people as an unarmed security guard. So I really don't have any patience for it. Again, I just found out about the 420 awards two nights ago. I had no idea this was a flipping thing. Like, this is some half-baked shit. This is literally some half-baked shit. Anyway, let me see how far. Okay. Uh, Derek, of course, has no common sense, and therefore Cool Cat is an annual staple at the show. Cool Cat music has been used throughout the shows, notably in 2021 when Dirty Dog hijacked the ceremony to perform his hit single, Coronavirus is a... Oh, my... Okay, so... There is... Uh, okay, so the topic of the coronavirus is... Oh, very controversial, and you guys already know where I stand with it. There's been stuff that's been coming out about it. This is not the topic for this type of video. So for Derek Savage, because he already doesn't know how to dive into the deeper issues with bullying and why children bully and even why adults bully each other, touching something that has government conspiracy theories and a bunch of dark money and just political bullshit surrounding it and associating Cool Cat with it and making a character specifically to look like some crazy conspiracy theorist. He has no idea what the hell he's doing. This is not a topic. Even for me, even if I had a brand, I would not associate it, that topic with my brand. Just because it's so mixed and there's a lot of different variables, a lot of different faucets of that problem. No, there's no way in hell. This is not a smart thing to do. This movie is going to be a total trash fire. And I'm not going to be surprised if it actually legit pisses some people off. Um, let's continue. When Dirty Dog performed the song once again and parodied the Will... Oh, what the... Will Smith slap with Coronavirus is a scam... Lost favorite song, and Cool Cat Media itself has won several awards over the years. So this is an award show that Derek uses to award himself with. Cool Cat Kids Superhero won the award for favorite independent movie in 2019, and Cool Cat is Cool won the award for favorite song in 2020. Again, this is an award show. This is all narcissistic. This is very arrogant, and this is actually very delusional. This is all one big delusion. Cool Cat is not the quality that I personally believe it can be. And again, I'm not a fan. I just, when you see something that has potential being wasted and not being treated properly, it kind of irritates you. Um, one of the examples that I talked about how Cool Cat's potential could change if it was handled properly was that is if Cool Cat was shrunk down. Perfect example, you guys who grew up with Chuck E. Cheese, the animatronics. The original animatronics were like pretty much nightmare fuel. Even adults go, yeah, this these things all can give me freaking nightmares. They shrunk Chucky down, and he can now ride on children's shoulders. He hops around the gaming machines in the new commercials, and even the puppet is a lot more soft looking. It's a lot more approachable. The eyes are nice to look at. It's just overall a more approachable character, both advertisement wise and puppet wise. And this is something that Cool Cat, the character himself, could really benefit from, is being shrunk down. Again, I bring back up the scene with the guy trying to come out of his house across the street, seeing a big orange cat talking to kids and just going, nope, and going back inside. So, again, I don't have a brand for children. I don't gear myself towards children, but for... From the little bit I have observed, using Chuck E. Cheese as an example, the results have shown that having a smaller, cute character that can talk with children, point things out, is a lot more comforting to that child because that child is not being made small by the character, or should be being made to feel small. And it's easier for the child who may be nervous, scared, or whatever to approach that character and start to have a conversation. Um, even Christian media does this. Um, uh, there's a lot of brands in Christian media to where they make the characters small. Again, less intimidating, a lot more softer looking, a lot more approachable, and can easily or have an easier time touching upon heavy topics and do so in the right way. Just saying. But 
to kind of wrap it all up here because this can go on forever. There's a lot to dissect when it comes to Cool Cat, the overall character, and just the overall brand. It, I thought it was bad before. The quality, the various YouTuber spats that Derek Savage has had, it, I believe, first started with I Hate Everything when he did a critique of the movies and um, Derek Savage decided to go and copyright strike. I hate everything. This was in the early 2010s, and then your movie sucks. And then the odd ones out, for those of you who are familiar with the storyteller animators, the odd ones out recreated a cover for Derek Savage, gave it to Derek Savage, I believe, for free or for a very small charge, and then went and gave critique. And he did so in his own humorous way, and Derek Savage got mad and got rid of the Odd Ones Out book cover, and it was just a big hot mess. But you can tell throughout the brand is Derek Savage has had people who used to help him fall off from this project. And the quality is very much hurting. Like, Dirty Dog is a pretty much at this point a man in a very small fursuit and shitty ass plastic looking mask. I, if I were to ever, ever in an alternate universe do something like this or even get a hold of the brand, there would be a lot of rework done. Cool Cat would be shrunk. Um, a lot of stuff would be decanonized or retconned. Butch the Bully would get more of a background story. It's like, hey, here's why he's such a jerk. There are some issues going on at home that he doesn't know how to cope with. And I can actually speak from real life experience with this because I went through severe bullying at um, grade school and middle school. High school, it stopped for the most part-ish. Um, high school was a little bit different. Anyway, though, one of my bullies actually legit had severe issues at home that they would not respond to because they would have anger issues. And so... The way to approach bullying when it comes to children is very nuanced. It's not cut and dry. The child, the child is not a villain. It could be, they could be seen as a villain by the other child, but there's a lot of other deeper issues there that are not touched upon. And again, it's just one of the many examples that Derek Savage does not know what the hell he's doing. He also has some scattershot brands like he has Trolley the Fish or Trolley the Trout. Um. He's got Bible Birdie, which is a Blue Jay. Again, this is one of the things I kind of poke my head in every now and then. And it's just... Sorry, it's just bad. His health is showing regression. I, I don't remember seeing his teeth that bad. I really, really don't. And when I first watched that promotional video, that's the first thing that kind of stuck out to me because it's like, what is going on here? You look worse for it. You look worse than you do in your previous videos. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. Tell me what you guys think. Again, this was not a low-hanging fruit. Let's bash the crazy old baked half man. This was a, whoa, there's actually some issues now that are starting to become more and more obvious. And there, let me show you this one last thing. Because this was a comment that I came across and it concerned me. Um, I can get in here. Thank you. Uh, it's on the promotional with the new Beaver character, and it's something that Cool Cat himself responds to. So, is it me or is Beaver just a stuffed animal? And Cool Cat Funhouse responds, but the real question is, was Beaver a human before the evil witch dog? Dirty Dog's mom put a spell on him, or did she put a spell on him? So it's not even the full sentence structure. It, it's not even there. It just This would be answered in Cool Cat Stops a School Shooting, which is, <laughs> which is something else he's trying to touch upon, which is such a bad freaking idea. These are very, very heavy topics that unless they're approached 
correctly. And even with the school shootings, have big government, what's considered conspiracy theories around them. I have talked about some of the freaking school shootings that have happened here in the United States. And I've been demonetized on those videos. But again, that is not a topic for this video. This is just another topic that Derek Savage is going to horribly, horribly fumble. And the fact, again, going back to the dirty dog one with coronavirus, shouting coronavirus is a scam, and it, like he's going to end up pissing off a lot of people. If a lot of people watch that video and it comes out, because it's actually supposed to come out December 9th, 2023, which is literally a week or so away, I believe it's next weekend, um, if not the weekend after, it's not going to be good. It is going to be a huge trash fire just because of the quality, the expression, and then the topic that is freaking covering. And then you already have the elements of bestiality in there. And it's going to throw in witchcraft. It's, it's going to be a must. And if there's any hope, any hope of saying that, because at this point, this is just going to implode and eventually die out, which again... When something has potential and it's being run into the ground, it kind of sucks to see, depending on whether or not you like it, back it, or just kind of hope things get better. Um, it's not going to be good. It's really not going to be good. And uh, I know that there's still some channels following the cool cat train wreck. Um, I'm going to poke my head in and see just how bad the film is. There's tickets being sold which i have no idea what theater i don't even think this is going to be a theater release i think this may be like digital tickets i have no idea there's not a whole lot of information there um we've already discussed the props the merch that 2500 dollars is ridiculous for the quality and the amount of stuff you get um if i can compare the quality to again lackadaisy Tracy B, I have her items. I have uh, the comic books, which are really well done, hardback. Um, they are like a soft hardback cover with a nice wrap. Um, I have the shot glasses. I'm supposed to be getting one of the keychains uh, here in the next week or so, possibly three. I'm waiting for the really, really large um, clips or pins. That I just look gorgeous, but and I've talked about like a daisy on my channel. But I, if I had twenty five hundred dollars to burn, because I've seen her tears, her tears are worth twenty five hundred dollars. You get uh, an OC animate animated um, one of her tears, and this is like a large amount because animating a character, moving the character, it does take a lot of work and hours upon hours of work. Um, you get an OC, your own original character, somewhere cameo in the background of the show, like moving around and stuff. So this is one of the tiers, and she's got like a big, 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 big tier of 20,000, and I can't remember what's all involved, but it's a lot, and it's felt that would take a very long time to get done. Um, and just one of the art pieces I got from Lackadaisy was a commission, which in my opinion, I got literally one-sixth of the price that it should have been sold at. But because of the circumstances and because I'd been a patron of hers for a while and she was very gracious and did this beautiful piece for me about my uh, uh, my cat, Mitten, and you guys have seen it, that I, I had put him down last Thanksgiving due to cancer, very aggressive cancer. And again, I, I consume and I'm very picky about who I back, crater-wise. And I only have two that I back and get stuff from right now. Um, that's all I can afford, and that's all that I can really find to enjoy. There's a third one, um, which is Harpy McGee, but I haven't been able to put it into as much as I do Lackadaisy and or Monkey Wrench. Anyway, I could go on, as I said, and this video is already a half an hour, but there's so much here that could be rectified and changed but it's all being run into the ground and it's just there's drugs involved there's literally drug paraphernalia involved bestiality it's being run by somebody and this 
this is what it also takes to have a successful brand is you have to listen to your audience criticism. You also have to have introspection. <laughs> you really do. What are you trying to say? Um, how are your characters acting like part of character creation? Because if you look at like some of the general character studies for, like Disney, like let's bring up Disney. One of the characters, Blue the Bear. If you guys remember Blue the Bear from the animated Jungle Book, anytime Blue gets nervous, he like scratches himself in the chest like a nervous tick of his. That's based off of the animator friend. So, and when you create characters, you're putting a piece of yourself into the character. What I feel like with Derek Savage is that he's just throwing stuff against a wall and seeing what sticks. There is potential. There is. But, again, and I sound like a broken record, it's being run into the ground, and it's going to get to a point to where somebody, this man needs an intervention. He really needs to have somebody come in and go, hey, time to take a step back, shut it down temporarily, let's rethink this, let's regroup, let's work on you, and then come back and do this and start reworking this. I don't know if he has people like that around him. I really don't. But that's the only way that brand Cool Cat Funhouse is going to succeed. If it's put on the shelf, the creator works on himself, and the brand is reworked. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up here. Sorry, this is kind of like a little passion thing of mine. I wanted to get into uh, illustration and all that when I was younger. I don't think it's a possibility now. Just because of the way things are, and I don't know. Anyway, you guys have a good one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Forgive the rambling, but oh my goodness. Just oh my goodness.